Red as usual, he's looking over the other side and saying, if only. But if he does get out, he'll terrorise any collection of uh, chickens. He's a killing machine. They all are. But they don't eat them. Just for the purpose of killing. They like to kill, which is bred in them. But reputedly, one of the oldest breeds that exists, and apparently, from what I can gather, these Thai Ridgebacks originated for about 2,000 years on an island. And... Uh, so that's why the breed was so pure. No contact with other breeds or anything. Just tie Ridgebacks. And I won't say they're rare, but they're not easy to get. But they're not the easiest dogs to keep. As we found out, having had these for a year now, they're a very active dog and they like a lot of exercise and they like to keep their mind stimulated. But unfortunately, we can't give them that too much because fortunate for the dogs, they've got an ideal environment to live in as it's been repeated time and time again. But at least they're not living in a flat, they're not living in a house. They're not cooked up and waiting by the door for their owners to bring a lead and say walkies. Oh no. From six o'clock on the morning that top gate is open. And they've got the free day to run down there and do what they want. They are reputed to be one of the best climbers and jumpers. But, touch wood, they've not got out yet. But, they're not a vicious dog, but they are very, very protective. Now, I came down earlier on Come on, Minnie. Hey, what are you doing, girl? Hey, you're a bit bored. I came down earlier on this morning and uh, Brad heard the sound up by the house and he off, straight back to the house and he stayed there. He likes to, he likes to protect us 
and his own environment. And like a lot of dogs, they go around cocking their legs and it's just marking the ground, isn't it? Oh, it's a buffalo fly. Get him! What is it, Bread? Hey? Bloody thing. Better not come and bite me. No. Get it, Brad. He's after it. What is this? Oh, he likes his marks, his territory, does this one. What a grand dog. What a grand dog he is. Well, he's a bit of a monkey at times. So there, I put that Hessian sack down. I noticed the breeder we got these dogs up. He has these as well. I think they're for sale for about, we got three, one, two, and then the other cage with the blue cage in, three. And I think their total cost was about 280 baht for the three sacks. So, There we are. They do like these to jump up on so they can see what's going on a bit. But obviously when they're giving birth they want a bit of privacy. Privacy. So we've got another few Hessian uh, sacks I think. Of Lasada. They worked out ideal these kennels. And uh, the chances are we're gonna build some more. What we would like to do, because we finally found out that the, the breeder we've got, we got these off, he started to export into the UK. So ideally we would like to do the same. But most of these breeders, if not nearly all of them, can't speak English. Whereas here, you've got Mem, who's a fluent uh, Thai, because she is Thai, and Michael, who's uh, English. Mem had 18 years in the UK, working for a top retail company, not cleaning dishes or stuff like that, but... Uh, running a lighting department in a top uh, leading uh, retail company, JPL. So she too has a very good uh, concept of the English language. Whereas Michael, when it comes to Thai, has virtually nothing. Yes, I've a bit, I can get by bits and pieces like, but no, I'm fluent in Spanish, a bit of Catalan, uh, but uh, Thai, very difficult. People may say other, but that's my verdict.
Thank you.